right, guys. Good morning. All right, it is 7 a.m. in the morning, uh, March 9th, Thursday morning. Um, here is a video on the SPX, the SPY, e Mini. Uh, those of you that are going to be trading uh, this morning. So we were expecting the ES yesterday after. Well, we were expecting this after uh, last week uh, bounce out of the 3940, 200 DMA on the markets. Uh, the expectations were for the market to go back to um, uh, 4100. I like I said before, uh, there is a lot of uh, money that was put to work on this uh, 4100, and we were bouncing quite a bit into that 42 for almost a week. But now that we have dropped below it, as you can see, we were not even able to get to the 4100. Now, uh, interesting, you know, right after Powell uh, testimony, uh, the market held pretty nice. I mean, right on the 39.75, I think, was the low that we saw on the SPX yesterday. Uh, and I'm going to go to the E-mini right now. But it, it's starting to look like we're probably going to go sideways for a minute until we get a, a, a non-farm payroll uh, tomorrow morning. So for today, what is very important, if you were to trade the SPY, let me t take you here to the SPY. And uh, let's go to a 30-minute chart. Uh, very important that overnight we are holding here right on the 397, which is the low from yesterday. Uh, if you look at the markets now, uh, is coming up uh, this is uh, Tuesday and that is Wednesday and now you can see that 397 40 right holding um, on uh, on the spy so if we were to drop uh, that 397 that's a guarantee that we're probably gonna go ahead in uh, those 392 from last week the lows from last week at 392 potentially 395 uh, we're gonna make a pit stop there since uh, the 395 was key on the reversal uh, for Thursday uh, morning. So watch out for the 395, watch out for the 397. Uh, at the top of the range, well, we have 4,000, which is 400 on your SPY. Uh, we have a nice move at 399 and 80, so pretty tight range, about a $2.50. Uh, it could be a move that the market will provide uh, today for those of you trading the SPY. Uh, on another news, I believe there are some news regarding uh, NVIDIA, uh, actually regarding the chip, the whole chip sector. Those of you trading with me, uh, market dropping a little bit, uh, some China sanctions or something like that uh, going on uh, from from the United States. So putting a pressure on NVIDIA, and I've been talking about NVIDIA for a while uh, in the room. I didn't quite like um, all the money that is going to uh, put work on uh, on the semis and on AI, but I think they have a pretty good potential to move into these 260s and, and then probably start going back to balance here to the 220s. So we'll see if today's news is going to make any any um, big uh, reversal to the 220s or, you know, give us a little uh, entry here uh, on NVIDIA. So let me take you now to the E-mini, uh, those of you who've been trading E-mini um, with us in the room. Uh, we have our nice Anchor VWAP sitting right at the 39.50. This is the Anchor VWAP from October lows, if you remember. And uh, we starting to look like this market doesn't want to go anywhere. Um, those of you trading ES, uh, in, in reality, I mean, we're stuck and, and we're stuck in this range, really tight range now after reaching the 4200. We're starting to see like a floor here, but if we were to break this 3900, uh, you s remember, uh, this has got to go all the way back to probably uh, November. If you were to hit and break below these 3920s, last week we had a pretty nice attempt to go out at a 39 and we just couldn't now with powell here we're seeing beautiful beautiful distributions coming down down the line and uh we'll see them hold them still you know trying to go for for that move below the 3950. Uh, my uh, expectations were for that to happen yesterday so let me take you to the market profile here for a minute and uh here's the overall picture on the market profile uh when you go to the daily and uh, I'll, I'll go actually to the weekly first because we talked about these two areas of balance before and uh, it looks pretty decent. Uh, we have gone from point A to point B on the way down, okay, uh, when it comes to the balance area. And, and now we went from just this week from Friday. We literally took the whole area from point B to point A, and we stopped there right before uh, FOMC, I mean, before Powell, excuse me, before Jerome Powell uh, testimony. So now look where we are now. We are sitting right now at the bottom of it. And there are good chances that if we fail this this morning, uh, if we were to break below yesterday low, uh, this can accelerate and can accelerate really quick to the 3920s, right? Last week's low, 3920s, and then below there, 
uh, into the next area of balance, which is the one from December that everybody uh, is looking for potential uh, test that the market is going to do. So pay attention to the market today. As soon as this market drops, I have a couple of sell stops already. I am short since yesterday the market. Uh, last night I went short a couple of 90s and I'm still holding those. Um, be careful if, if you see any reversal at yesterday's um, low, I mean, at uh, last week's low, excuse me, right at the 3920s. Uh, there is a large gamma right underneath 3905 for today. Large gamma and the put wall it is at 3900 as well. So let's go to the uh, daily. Uh, okay. And here is the daily picture, all right? The same that you just saw. And if you look, we have a lot of, and yesterday I believe I gave something uh, for my guys in the Discord. A very late review that we do every single night uh, not every night but every other day and um, one of the things that I was showing them is the fact that there is a lot of trap uh, shorts and there is you know some trap uh, bulls as well uh, in the market uh, one of the things that I was looking and I was showing them yesterday was like hey you know a lot of bulls are trapped right here okay right on that area on that 40 uh, 50 uh, and above uh, we have a lot of people who are trapped from um, last Monday, uh, from this Monday, excuse me, from the past Monday. And, and now you know that this poor structure from last week, this is last Thursday, uh, we have a couple of singles here. So a lot of uh, bears are trapped in this area. And if they were to gain any momentum today, uh, they will definitely uh, probably take us to, uh, you know, the area right around 39 uh, under, excuse me, right under, uh, you know, 3920s, potentially 3950s. So, but a plan, a, you know, you retrace accordingly. What I'm looking forward is um, if we open inside value, uh, it looks to me that we are gonna open right inside value. So far, these are the overnight session. Uh, we have a pretty good chunk of volume, the same volume that we had uh, yesterday. Very nice area of volume right at this um, HVN, at this high volume node. And um, last week, uh, it was a key for the reversal and then we have this chunk area right here where some pretty nice volume has happening right above 4000 all the way to the 4020 yesterday we observed there was some nice supply uh, in the dumb uh, but we didn't quite get there so interesting to see that the supply was there but today i was just looking at the dom early on and the supply is sitting at 3970 which is right on the uh, high volume node we have a good uh, demand zone here i think it's about 300 lots uh, so far so watch out for this you know 3970 this morning and ultimately it's going to take you to the 3956 maybe 3950s below the 3956 and 3950 this market is just going to take us to the low uh, which is you know 3940s and 30s a uh, potential if this gets any uh, bear sentiment this morning underneath this overnight low right under the low from the night uh, chances are it will take you to these singles repair those and you know the bears might get some fuel uh, into that um, when it comes to the buy side I, I wouldn't probably go long until we actually go above this 4010 or i start to move away from the 396 area um, above overnight high when it comes to trading uh, today's market so here is the area around 3992s and um, you also have the 3996 there uh, I saw some supply early on I'm gonna show you the dumb in a minute so 3996 um, and then I start looking for the 4000 see if that 4000 will ultimately break yesterday we fell multiple times at the 4000 on the e-mini uh, but if this gets any any um, move of preparing uh, the mood for um, non-farm payroll it could um, very well, uh, you know, happen today. Nice area um, for today, uh, overnight uh, session, Globex, you know, small area of volume here, sitting right on the high volume node. Uh, I'm not surprised, but we will open in, in anyhow, you know, right in the middle of uh, yesterday's value area. So very important to recognize that until you break, like I said, until you break this overnight low, um, there is nowhere to go. Um, you might want to sit on your hands and, and wait for this market to give you the signal and start taking it all the way to the 3940s. Okay, so uh, happy trading. That's all I got for you guys. I, I want to thank you for you know tuning in into my videos. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe uh, and smash that bell. And you know, lastly, don't forget 
uh, to hit the thumbs up okay uh, if you can find me on twitter i mean you can do it at emini orderflow and if you would like to see more of our trading uh, you can visit carlosmolina.io uh, to join uh, our private discord server all right again thanks again god bless i will see you in the trading room take care